What's up, YouTube? Want to make a lot of money with Trouser with no eggs? Watch this video for all the details. What is up, YouTube? Ghostgrave here coming at you with another build guide video. This is going to be a work off of my last build guide. I've had some viewers who have requested how I do that Trouser money farm, but without eggs. So, this is going to kind of go into detail about that. Uh, I also think people probably assume that I have thousands of hours in this game. I'm just at 90, and I have had some viewers who are right at around 80 hours who are still struggling a little in understanding this. Uh, so this is going to break it down from this standpoint as if you were walking into this very early on. So first, we're going to go over the power-ups, and I have deselected all the ones that uh, I don't think you would have at this stage. Uh, I cannot deselect the seals or these, so these just have to stay on. Uh, I would recommend any way that you do have some re-rolls because otherwise this is probably going to make you have to uh, either one pray for some really good RNG luck or back out a few more times than normal. Um, but going over kind of the same basis as the last one, uh, we're going to want growth as our main one because, again, it's going to be levels once we get there. Uh, greed is going to be our secondary. We're going to want magnet to make that 21 card pop a little bigger, which really helps. Uh, believe it or not, duplicator is going to help that tick off more, and this is a must. Without duplicator on, this will not work. Uh, if you have enough and you can put a thing in a revival, go ahead. There is a chance I will die um, because in the beginning, it is very hard to kind of just sustain the stuff start so if you have that please go ahead and do it if you have enough to turn lock on and leave this on go ahead that will help a lot with more money bags and just better procs for you um but if you can't it's not the end of the world we'll run it without uh we're gonna run area to make that magnet bigger our cooldown is gonna help our pentagram go off sooner might obviously just for a little more damage tick although i do not believe this scales with this that well with the aoe ticking um we're gonna do armor max health and recovery obviously for sustain uh the secondary weapon I'm going to go over now just so people know exactly what I'm going to pick when I run in here. Uh, we're going to pick Duplicator. Again, that's going to help us tick that garlic-like ring that goes around us more. Uh, we're 100% we're going to choose the Magnet. It's going to make that area bigger. And we're going to want to get this as soon as we can in the build. That will help us actually do more damage in a bigger range. We're going to want to get the actual uh, Pumilara, the heart, so we can have uh, survivability. Um, we're probably going to pick uh, spinach just to give us that little extra damage tick uh, but if you don't want to you could do something else like Tyranno's box to give you curse a few more adds and a little stuff depending on how you're comfortable we definitely need the stone mask for um, our, our money farm of course and then we have to get the crown the crown will give us more experience and it evolves our our pentagram uh, now going into the character select, we're going to do this just slightly different. This is assuming you're having a tough time with this. We're going to actually put this on two instead of one. Our second weapon is going to be Laurel. Now, Laurel also works with the 21 card, gives you more damage zones. Again, it's still RNG based. You have to get it with your rolls. If you don't, um, it will just sadly, you'll just have to quit out, start again. And, and that's just one of the things as early on as it works. Um, eventually, you won't need this and you can just run and then you don't have to worry about that at all. But for now, we're going to run two and we're going to hope we get that with RNG luck. Uh, obviously, we're picking trouser again. I do have egg selected off. So we're going to go ahead and start. And then our map selection for this is going to be the bone zone, which I assume most people would um, pick the same. It gives us our 100% gold bonus. We are going to have inverse checked off, even though it would give us a ton more gold. There's no way we will survive this early with that setup. Uh, so we'll leave inverse on. Everything else is going to stay on. We have to have endless. You got to have limit break, arcana. Uh, we need the arcanas. Uh, and then hurry and hyper just to make this go a little quicker. Um, and obviously, once we get into the map, we're going to pick Pentagram. We're going to pick our 21 card. This is going to be our base. This will make our Laurel proc off or Magnet. And obviously, our Pentagram and Glorious Moon. Uh, second card that is a must, and again, this is where RNG still comes in, is we're going to have to get the Disc of Gold. If we don't get it, we got to start again. And then if we get past that and we get to a third card, great. We'll do uh, Wicked Season. Um, even though we're picking Laurel, do not pick left and right. If you pick them, you do not do enough damage output early on to actually kill the ring bearers so that's not going to be a benefit for us so we'll leave that aside um all we're going to focus on is basically our 21 our 15 
and then our our 13. Um, after that, anything that kind of works towards gold you can do. After that, if you start getting more cards and you're just rolling in this. And once you get enough money, just start rolling those coins right back in the trouser, put eggs on him and buy the eggs. And then this eventually will get to a point where it's insane, just like in my video. But for now, we'll go ahead and start. And I'm just going to speed up this whole process and I will come back to you guys once I'm done and we're at the build and it's finally taken off just to show you guys that it's working. It won't eventually get to that really wonderful part fast enough for me to make the video um but you'll you'll get the whole premise of the build and we'll get it rolling so hope you enjoy All right, so here we are back where we, we finally got Glorious Moon popping off. We've only got a couple more levels until we're actually done. Um, I will say in my first run or my first couple attempts of this, I did not actually get the RNG luck I needed. Uh, the first one I didn't get card. The second one I just didn't get the right actual order of my secondaries. I got the magnet way too slow and it just didn't work out. So there there is no perfect method to this. I mean, it's a game with RNG. It's tied into it. Uh, you can go into the collection and select certain things off so you have better luck with your secondaries which I can recommend as a good idea I did not choose to do that um, but that is ov obviously an option so uh, this is at the point where now we've got glorious moon uh, we're getting everything's maxed out and we're going to be able to start getting this and rocking it off uh, you're going to see me basically selecting this a couple more times we just have to get this one last tick right here that's going to pop right now and then that's just going to kind of basically snow ball on itself um i do want to emphasize again uh do not get left and right if you do it will work uh, 
as you're going on in this, if you also get a treasure box where you can pick another weapon, uh, make sure you ignore it. Do not pick it. It will break the build. It does not work. It only works where it's leveling up simply the Glorious Moon. So any other weapons will break this. So make sure you just stick to that and just ignore them. Uh, aside from that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comments. Um, and I will definitely respond in a timely manner if I need to make another video or go into more details. Also, so let me know um otherwise i hope you guys enjoyed this and and this is basically at the point now where the build will sustain itself it, it will not gain money as fast as my other build uh until you have some eggs on him obviously and you can max out with inverse and more ads and more things like that so this is just a a, a baseline for it that will get you going um, I had some really good RNG in here. I don't expect everybody to have that same luck. Um, this was after a few attempts. So it's not something that's just going to happen every time. And definitely move around, get some money bags to start off. Because until you get those, it won't start it. And if it starts running stagnant, just move around again, get another money bag. And just let it roll. But aside from that, uh, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching.